All right, guys, today we're we'll going to be taking a look at the top six knives that I'm rocking this fall. Now, undoubtedly, you guys probably know that I am a fan of my knives and I do like EDC quite a few, but usually I end up kind of falling into a rotation of knives. So today I thought we'd talk about the ones that I'm primarily EDC for the fall. So without any further ado, guys, let's jump right into it. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna start off with the newest and then going to the oldest of just basically the ownership. Um, there really isn't too much preference when I come to picking one out. I just grab whatever I want to on any given day. But let's start off with the newest of them all. So the first one up is going to be the Emerson Bulldog. I was pretty excited when I first picked this guy up because a lot of my um, YouTube followers or you know uh, subscribers definitely really dig the Bulldog. They immediately knew what it was and I thought that was pretty cool because I feel like the Bulldog is one of Emerson's lesser known or lesser common um, kind of models. Certainly not as popular as like the CQC7 or really any of the CQC family for that matter. However, the Bulldog is pretty cool. Bulldog is essentially what I would kind of say a hybridized version of or a kind of like hybrid between the CQC7 or like a mini CQC7 with that blade shape and a kind of almost uh, Emerson Commander or Mini Com with the handle shape. And what it ends up being is a knife that is super pointy with that Tonto style blade with a very nice straight, you know, kind of main primary cutting edge, but with a super, super comfortable handle. It's nicely rounded and contoured. It's nicely rounded and contoured and it looks just amazing. So first one up, like I said, is the Emerson Bulldog. This is the newest addition to my collection as a whole, but also it is just a really cool knife. And I'm really enjoying and kind of playing with the fact that this is my first Emerson um, to have a full on chisel grind. So what I mean by that is, as you guys can tell, this is a full chisel grind. The you know non-show side of this has absolutely no grinding done to it. There's not even a micro bevel on that flip side. So most of my Emersons are what you consider V grind chisels. So that means that they still technically have a, you know, um, <clears throat> grind on the opposing side, as you guys can see with this commander, you know, you still have a grind on each side, but the um, cut or the non-show side does not have a bevel. So anyways, that is a more typical styled Emerson, but let's jump into it. So this one, of course, like I said, is my uh, Emerson commander and this is probably the largest one on the list so far or I think in general but the commander is definitely one that I've been really enjoying if you guys know um, I'm a very big fan of my Emerson Minicom so I wanted to add a full-sized commander to my um, EDC and so that's just what I did with the Emerson commander and it is a pretty cool knife um, I really like as I've talked about in other videos the um, the depth and kind of just the overall recurve nature of the Emerson um, Commander is definitely of my preference and style. So I think that Emerson did a really good job with the Commander in its overall blade shape and style. All right, next one up and one that does see quite a bit of pocket time is the Protec Malibu. Now this is a Blade HQ exclusive edition. This one is entirely blacked out, as you guys can see there. And this one is pretty darn cool. It's in the CPM S45VN, which I feel like is a steel that doesn't get as much love nowadays, but it is a really venerable and still very high performance steel. Once again, a lot of people, you know, want to talk about Magna Cut, CTS 204P, M3, 90s 20 cv but cpm s45 vn can definitely keep up <clears throat> can definitely keep up with the whole group so this one is pretty cool like i said i enjoy that it's all blacked out it has a super super smooth action as you guys can see there and i did have to lay back the bevel this one i found was you know the bevel was a little bit abrupt on it so it wasn't quite as um, smooth or it wasn't quite as seamless you know cutting and slicing through things but i put this on my wicked edge laid it back a bit and now not only is it sharper than factory but it is also um, a little bit more leaned out so it cuts or slices a little bit better now in tandem to the 
um, or I guess in like the same kind of mindset or thought process, the next few knives are going to be similar to the Malibu in their kind of um, carry um, kind of premise or use case. So the next one up, of course, is the TRM Shadow. And this guy has been a favorite of mine ever since I got it. Now, in fairness, this was sent to me by TRM, but it still is definitely a favorite of mine, still in the collection for the long haul. And I think that the Shadow, for me personally, is just such a cool blade. I love the design. And even if I didn't fully love the design, which I do, um, it is a really cool kind of project to see other, you know, American companies with high quality you know build quality and components making access styled locks and this one is a super simple straightforward crossbar lock and i think it is honestly really good now they are starting to diversify the shadows this was still back or i got this one back when they were only making them in black g10 they now make them in like brown micarta and i think red micarta a handful of other you know handle variations and stuff but overall the shadow is a really cool blade in my opinion and once again very much to my style i love that you can choke right up on that blade really get close to it gives you a nice wide sweeping belly for doing whatever slicing tasks you need not to mention i think this is the thinnest blade stock of all the blades on the list so it is very 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 slicey all right next one up is the spyderco smock now the smock for me has been a very similar carry and use case to to the Protec Malibu, as you guys can see here, they are very similar in size, in thickness, in overall shape, and just overall premise. They're both flippers, you know, designed to be one-handed um, friendly and stuff like that. So very similar in their use case and kind of their design um, language or like what they're after, you know, their goals, objectives. Of course, the smock does, you know, do its own thing. It's designed differently, has a nice, you know, hollow grind to it and of course the ergonomics are very unique to the smock once again not everyone loves them but the smock is definitely a really cool um, blade i just love it um, because it is super user friendly super pocket friendly and so it ends up being thrown in the pocket because i can throw it in the pocket and forget it's there pull it out you know cut something open or do whatever i need to do swing it closed put it back right so that's what i really enjoy about it i also like that it is it's just a different knife right like you know it's a button lock in a way but it's really more of a compression button lock and so i just i like that it's different i like that it's a unique knife and uh yeah it certainly has its own way and kind of um <clears throat> design characteristics to it so it's a very cool knife i really enjoy the spider coast smock and that's why it ends up in the pocket now the last one I have to say was a little bit uh, contentious because I wasn't sure which one really to include because a lot of my Chris Reeve knives, whether it's my Sebenza, my Kosi, or my Omnimzon, they all spend a good amount of time in my pocket. I ended up throwing the Omnimzon on here because I have a soft spot for my Omnimzon and it is a cool blade for sure. Um, but really all of my Chris Reeves do spend a decent amount of time in the pocket. And that's because I think that CRK knives are just really um, not just pocket friendly, but very user friendly. They have high hollow grinds that just absolutely cut like a laser beam. So for me, I love that. I also love, um, as you guys can probably tell if you've seen my collection, I am definitely a fan of Tonto styled blades by Chris Reeve. I think that, you know, a lot of people get Omnimazons in the harpoon styled blade, and that is a cool style, don't get me wrong, but I love the way Chris Reeve does their Tontos. The, the whole design to it's very cool looking. It's once again, maybe not quite as functional as say, you know, this Tonto on the Bulldog, but it is a different and unique style of Tonto that I think is at least fun. <clears throat> at least fun and enjoyable so you know definitely different styles of tonto but still once again very sharp very piercy but i definitely think it looks very stylized on the chris reeve so anyways that is a look at these six knives that i've been carrying the most this fall and of course there are others and i'm sure there will be others as well as you guys are probably well aware i do love just collecting knives using knives and owning them so for me it's kind of hard to just choose like one five ten knives to carry oftentimes you know i'll make like a list of six knives and then the next day i'll carry you know a hinder or a stride 
that or or I'll feel you know fancy and carry you know my heretic manticore X and so it's like it's one of those things where oftentimes it can be hard to really make a list because for me I'm kind of just a connoisseur I just I carry knives own knives and enjoy them and so for me that means that I kind of don't have a super you know like cohesive unit of knives that I'm going to carry. So I do get it for those people who do, you know, have like their top five knives or their top six, or they have like a three knife collection kind of thing. For me, that's probably more similar to, you know, like watches and, you know, other things like that, where I'm less necessarily interested in them. So I have a handful that are very functional and meet my needs and then, you know, don't really have any excess. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.